Hi there, I'm oh. Fergal, and the horticulture is down the new Ross branch of Country Life in County Wexford. Um, now today I'm going to show you how to plant up a very simple winter hanging basket. Now this is the basket we're going to use, it's just a wrought iron basket. Now a little trick when you're planting up a basket is just to get an old ceramic pot or any sort of a bowl pot that's big enough to hold the base of your hanging basket. reason for this, round base, you sit on the table, it's going to be rolling all around with you. Now it just stays nice and firm in place for you. Now the next thing we're going to use is our compost. Um, just using a multi-purpose compost. What I'm going to do is add in a moisture control gel and plant food. Now the moisture control gel is great because it just means you don't have to water the hanging basket as much. And the feed then will feed it up to six to eight months. I'm going to just scatter a small bit along the top. And I'm going to mix it in just by turning it over itself continuously. It's like if you're making a cake at home, you're putting the raisins in into your scones or anything like that. You want a nice even flow so you can see them when you turn them over. The next thing I'm going to do is just fill up a hanging basket. I'm going to use a little scoop here to give us a hand. I'm going to fill up the hanging basket about halfway. Now the next thing I'm going to pick is a centre plant. The centre plant I'm going to use here is a winter cyclamen. Fantastic plant, very easy to grow. Place it in the middle of the hanging basket. The only important thing you want to do with it is just to deadhead them. And the next plant we're going to go with then is my Campanula. Now it's a lovely bell flower on it. And the Campania is it's, it's an evergreen plant, so it's a perennial plant also, so it's semi-evergreen. So if we don't get a hard winter, it will, it will stay green, the foliage will stay green all year round. Main thing with your Campania is to deadhead them. And when you're deadheading them, you want to take out the whole stem just below the leaves. Don't want to take out just the flower because the stem will stay there, it'll come all rotty and it'll just, it will just won't look nice. But by deadheading it, you're forcing it to make new, more flowers. If you don't deadhead it, go to seed and stop flowering on it. And it will flower until the end of October, maybe to the middle of October, depending on the weather we're going to get. It's just best to plant in odd numbers. It just looks better. Ones, trees, fives, sevens. What I'm going to place there is a trailing winter ivy. Oh, nice small little pot, so it's nice and handy to use. Good place her in there. And now we just want to backfill around all the plants. So the important thing to do is when you're backfilling is not to fill the compost right up to the edge of the hanging basket. You want to leave about an inch gap just so the water, when you water it, won't just run off. You want it to soak into the compost. Now, when you just want to bring your chain around your hanging basket. The important thing about bringing the chain around is you don't want to just pull it up really fast because you'll do damage to your plants. Now throughout the winter when you hang these up, you want to plant them underneath the eave of a house just so it has a bit of shelter. Um, from the wind, the rain, the frost, you know, just the bad weather we get throughout the winter. Um, and also just keep an eye on the watering and feeding. You just want to water them at least twice to three times a week. And also feed them every seven to ten days. And there we go. Very simple winter hanging basket. I'm Fergal. Until next time. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on our Facebook page or call into any of our branches. <laughs>